It's all gone a bit trendy. It's gone a bit woke and not in a good way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your response to that? Is it water off a duck's back or does it... Uh, well, sensitivity within no, you. No, no, I mean, well, what's that? You don't read them. Well, that's exactly yeah. Adra knows. Yeah. <laughs> I don't read anything. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> much safer that way. Um, but equally, I, that's just be my own personal preference because I think, positive or negative, it can all sort of just feel like noise to a certain extent these days. Um, and so, and as opposed to getting muddled with that, to focus on the real cause. So for me, I think the idea of making the word feminism trendy that doesn't make any sense to me personally, right? This is something that is going to be part of the conversation forever. And I think the more that we normalize it, you see that to the point of how men and boys should be part of the conversation, you know, specifically in developing countries, I think it would be impossible to not have boys, especially as part of this conversation, because picture how much courage it takes for a young girl in a small village where most of the girls haven't gone to school and they are, so reaching out and doing whatever they can, walking miles to be able to get an education. Now, if they go home and they are feeling marginalized by their younger brothers, older brothers, that their fathers, given the cultural context of where this may be, has a sense of his daughter's place in that home, then nothing's really shifting because there might be one day where she goes, you know what, I won't go to school. 